Hello dear students. So in our today's session, we will discuss how to find out the actual depth of neutral axis and the limiting depth of neutral axis. So guys, in our previous session, we have already done how to find out the stress block parameter, whether it's total compressive force or total tensile force and what is basically our lever arm. So these type of points we have already done in our first session. Now this is the continuation of the first lecture in which we will discuss the type of neutral axis which we have in a singly reinforced beam. So as you know that guys there are basically two type of neutral axis which can be there. One is basically our limiting depth of neutral axis and the second one is actual depth of neutral axis. So this one is basically limiting and the second one is actual depth of neutral axis. So yesterday we have discussed how to get this particular complete stress block parameter that means stress diagram, strain diagram and this particular cross section. So you know that guys this one is our strain diagram and this one is our stress diagram right this one is strain diagram and this one is stress diagram. Now the question is if we find out the limiting depth of neutral axis then which particular diagram we have to use. So to find out limiting depth of neutral axis you need to use the strain diagram and if you want to find out the actual depth of neutral axis you need to use the stress diagram right. So to find out the limiting depth of neutral axis guys basically we will use this particular diagram and we are trying to use the concept of similar triangle so that we can find out the value of x u limiting easily. And in this particular case we will use the concept of force balancing right. So that means the total force in the compression direction and the total force on the tension side you need to equate that so that you are able to get the actual depth of neutral axis. So let's understand what value exactly we are getting and how we can calculate it also okay. So guys let's understand the first one which is basically our limiting depth of neutral axis. So you know that guys this is our strain diagram in which the top value is 0.0035 this one is 0 0.002 this particular strain at the level of tensile steel is Fy divided by 1.15 Es plus 0 0.002 and this particular depth is limiting depth of neutral axis and this particular distance will be d minus x u limiting. Now what we will do, we will consider the similar triangle concept over here. So can I write here guys, 0 0.0035 divided by x u limiting, it should be equal to this particular strain divided by this distance, right. Now guys, uh, we will try to interchange this value like d minus x u limiting over here and 0 0.0035 over here, right. Now you know that guys, the Fy value is basically based upon the type of steel which we are using whether it is Fe 250, Fe 415 or Fe 500. But the value of Es will remain constant for all the type of steel it is 2 into 10 raised to power 5 Newton per mm square. So you need to put this value right and you know that Fy divided by 1.15 is equal to how much 0.87 Fy. So guys if you resolve this so what exactly you are getting D by X u limiting is equal to 1100 plus 0.87 Fy divided by 700 right. So can I write here x u limiting which is our limiting depth of neutral axis is equal to how much 700 divided by 1100 plus 0.87 fy into small d that is our effective depth right. Now what is this factor? This factor is nothing as it is known as limiting neutral axis depth factor. So guys this particular value can change according to the grade of steel and we will have our x u limiting value. So let me show you one table so that you can understand what are the values for different grade of steel also okay. So guys this is our table let us suppose if you are using Fe 250 for Fe 250 the value of K is equal to how much it should be 0.53 if you put Fe 250 over here you will get K is equal to 0.53 similarly if you put Fe 415 you will get 0.48. If you put Fe 500 then you will get 0.456 so you can see here guys if we increase the grade of steel then the limiting neutral axis depth factor is trying to decrease. That means there is a relation between these two value but it is inversely proportional or you can say that if you increase the value of Fy, if you increase the value of Fy then this particular factor will try to reduce right. Now I think you are able to understand how to calculate the limiting depth of neutral axis very well. Now guys the question is sir after knowing the limiting depth of neutral axis we need to find out the actual depth of neutral axis also. 
then only we can understand which type of section is this whether it is under reinforce over reinforce or limiting section right so guys let's understand how to find out the actual depth of neutral axis so as we have already discussed to find out this value you need to equate the forces and you need to use the stress diagram so what is our c force over here c force is equal to 0.36425 fck into xu into b and the total t force is equal to 0.87 fy into ast correct so what we will do guys we will try to equate these two value c force and t force okay so if c force is equal to t force then this will be our relation and ultimately you are able to get the value of xu so xu is equal to how much it should be equal to 0.87 fy into ast divided by 0.36425 fck into b so this is nothing as our actual depth of neutral axis which is present in a given cross section of a beam now guys after understanding these two value limiting depth of neutral axis and actual depth of neutral axis what we have to do we need to find out which type of section is given to us so that we will discuss in our upcoming session that is our third session right in which i will discuss how to find out which type of section is this whether it's under reinforce over reinforce or limiting one okay so guys i hope you have understood all the things which we have discussed today so let's close this particular session and let's meet in the next one. Bye-bye guys. Take care and thank you so much.